Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we're going to continue on with our Python regular expressions and we're going to deal with special character classes and repetition cases. So what are special character classes? In special character classes we use this backslash and followed by a character and that would do a particular job for us for example we have the sentence here okay the first one we're going to deal with is matching a single digit so how do you do that you use backslash and small d to match any digit okay so this would match any digit here in the given test string okay that is to match a digit so what if I use capital D it would do the opposite of small d. It would match anything else apart from matching a digit. This was, if you remember, it was the same as like that and 0 to 9, right? So that is what capital D did just now. And the next one is backslash small s. What this would do is it would match a white space character that is present in the test string and if I use a capital S yep you guessed it right it would match anything anything apart from the white spaces we have two more left it is small w what does small w do the small w would match a single word character that is it would match either capital A to capital Z or small a to small z or numbers and underscores but it wouldn't match spaces and the special characters apart from underscore okay and what would capital W do you guessed it right it would do the opposite of what small w did right so that is up and what would dot do dot would actually match any character except the new line character okay Suppose you have a file and you had a new line character in it, then the dot wouldn't match that. You will see the applications of this dot further in the other tutorials. But for now, just remember that dot matches any character except the new line, right? There was an underscore here. So that is all with special character classes. The next one we're going to look in this video so the next one we're going to look in this video is repetition cases. So what are repetition cases? Now that. But what about the other things? If we use a question mark here, then it would match PYTHO, okay, or a single N, not more than that, okay. That is the work of the question mark there. If I use a star uh, asterisk there then it would match p y t h o and zero or more ends okay, that is why it has matched everything if i use a plus then it would match one or more ends okay that is the job of question mark asterisk and a uh, plus symbol what is the other way in which we could match things up if I use flower braces here, uh, that would that would make sense. I just use a backslash d, okay, and flower braces, and back backslash d. If you remember, was for to match numbers, okay. If I use two comma three, okay, then it is going to match numbers which are greater than two digits okay in number and less than four okay for example if we had okay if we had this and we wanted to match numbers which were greater than at least nine digits okay you would do nine comma okay it would match numbers which are greater than 8 that is greater than or equal to 9 until the maximum. So
so it had matched this it wouldn't match the other things there so that is repetition cases so these are the ways in which you could perform repetition cases and special character classes hope you understood that